Hey there, this is Coach Saifu with your daily dose of math mastery for primary six math prodigies. Now, first off, I want to say I'm proud of you if you tried yesterday's question, even if you did or if you did not solve the question, if you tried your best, I know that you just know that I'm proud of you. All right. Now, let's go on to the question that I posed to you yesterday. The question was, Judy and Bobby each have some apples. If Judy sells 50 apples per day and Bobby sells 25 apples per day, she will still have 600 apples left when Bobby has sold all his apples. On the other hand, if Judy sells 20 apples per day and Bobby sells 40 apples per day, she will still have 900 apples left when Bobby has sold all his apples. So, how many apples does Judy have and how many apples does Bobby have? This is the exact same structure of questions that I actually posed to you before. So, you guys should be getting this right, okay? Um, here are the answers. Just check your answers. Let me check here in the book. The answers are... Dun, 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 dun. Okay, it's taking too long. <laughs> okay, the answer is, for part A, 1,000... Oh, hold on. 1,000 and... Hold on, let me write this again. 1,000, okay, apples, and for Bobby, it's 200 apples. So for part A, the answer is 1,000 apples, and for part B, the answer is 200 apples. Do you get it right? If you got it right, you are a math prodigy. Good job. But if you didn't get it right, well, let's try again. Remember, we keep trying until we succeed. So let's go on to how to do it, all right? Okay. Let me take my book here, and we are set. So, let's read the first statement again. If Judy sells 50 apples, yes, and Bobby sells 25 apples, which basically states Judy to Bobby, yes, is actually equals to how much? What's the ratio, guys? What's the ratio? 2 to 1. You're right. Good job. Now, she will still have 600 apples left. The second part of the question says that if Judy sells 20 apples per day, and Bobby sells 40 apples per day, what does that mean? That's 40 to 20, sorry, 20 to 40, 2 to 4, which actually equals to what? Come on guys, you're a math prodigy, you can do this. 1 is to 2, you are right. So instead of 2 to 1, the current ratio is 1 to 2. So it's pretty similar to what we did before. So let's do this. Question, and let me remove this. Alright, so you should have something that looks like this. So, in the first scenario, okay guys, first scenario, how much does Judy have? Judy has so twice as much, and Bobby has once. So that is two to one, am I right? Two to one, good job. And he has how much left? She has approximately six, or she has exactly actually, 600 apples left. And secondly, in the second case, Judy actually spends, um, no, Bobby, Spends, no, sells, sorry, twice as much as Judy. And what happened? Judy actually had 900 more apples in this scenario. So, very simple. Remember using the technique I taught you, right? Which basically said, this B and this B are actually the same. And all you have to do to make it look the same is what? Divide it into two. And now you have two units here, four units here, and you must change this to one unit plus the 900, okay? So looking at this, you can easily solve the puzzle already, right? Let me just make it more, um, more good looking for you. Let's erase this part of the puzzle. Oh, that's taking a long time. <laughs> Let me use a big one. Okay, so I'm just erase this for you. Okay, just roughly. You can see that this and this are actually the same. Oops, sorry. This and this are actually the same. Wow, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big arrow. <laughs> so this and this are actually the same, you see. So from this, you can actually tell that if you just to cut this off from here, yes, what can you see? 
from here let me use a different color to make sure that you can still see it from here oh man I'm so bad at this okay from here all the way to here what can you see you can actually see that three units plus 600 equals to 900 which means that 3 units equals to 900 minus 600 which is equals to what? 300. Good job. And 1 unit equals to what? 1 unit equals to... I'm so sorry, no enough space. Equals to 100. Got it? You got this part? And then from there, what you can do is just find out how many Judy has. Basically, Judy has, as you can see from this picture, 1, 2, 3, 4 units which equals to 400 plus 600 because it equals to 1000. And Bobby has 200. 1 unit and 2 units. And that's how you find the answer. So if you got the answer, good job. You are a math prodigy. If not, keep trying. Keep practicing until you get it right. Okay, if you don't understand this, I want you to make sure that you uh, send me a status update on the math prodigy uh, group. And I will answer your question. But in the meantime, since most people did not get this right, I want to make sure that we try one more question which is similar to this. Okay. Roy and Martha were given some money each. Now, if Roy and Martha spent $3 and $2 each day respectively, Roy would still have $140 when, when, Mar Martha, when Martha would have spent all her money. Right. If Roy and Martha spent $3 and $4 each day respectively, Roy would still have two fifteen dollars when Mar Martha would have spent all her money. How much money was given to each of them? Similar question but it looks a little weird because the ratio is 3 to 2 and 3 to 4. I know you can figure it out. All you have to do is make the ratio look the same and you are off. Remember, always use step one, draw the model. Alright, so this is your question for the day, Math Prodigy's Primary 6. And I want to end off again with a very important quote. Victory loves preparation. Victory loves preparation. Look at that, it's flashing. It's very important. Victory loves preparation. With that, you are a Math Prodigy.